everybody welcome to the lion's den so today i wanted to do it, it's a subscriber's request video reading um for a friend of mine who wanted me to do uh t.o.p and han sohi um a reading on them because she had posted something to instagram um that apparently was very cryptic and about yge entertainment um, so I'm going to do a very quick reading on them. This reading is kind of long overdue, um, so I'm going to hop right into it. Now, before I get started, please leave a like and a comment um, in the comment section. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, if you have any other readings that you would suggest that I um, read on, any other topics that you may find um, interesting um, to see read about. Um, also, I would like to say I did do some channeling work. Um, before before this, I did start a little bit of channeling work. Um, I got some information and I um, confirmed it. It was information that I didn't know, but I was able to find it and confirm it on the internet after that. So, um, but I'm going to get into the reading, ask questions, and I'll talk about what I kind of wrote down a little bit later. It's not too much information. Um, but let's go ahead and I'm just going to start off with asking, um, does Han Sohi actually have um, true secrets about YG Entertainment, like um, scandals or situations that have not been brought to light yet? Does she actually have real secrets about... Um, YGE Entertainment. Okay, so what I feel like is that she does, um, but it's such an overwhelming feeling of devastation that's coming from her. Like, it's it's kind of like she knows she wants to move on um, and she she does want to say things or say things that she, that she knows has happened within the company and things that she has to, has had to deal with but she also knows that it won't help her um, it won't help her situation it won't help her predicament it won't fix you know whatever is going on with her now and also I don't think people will believe her um, she may move forward and say it anyway, though. So let me double check. She may, she may actually, um, she may attempt to actually say what she needs to say regardless. But right now, overall, um, it's really just talking about um, her. This is really talking about, to me, where she is right now. And it is a whole lot of grief and sadness and pain um, and sorrow and a lot of battles. Sorry about my nails. I need to repaint them. Um, a lot of battles that she has fought and lost. Um, it is also talking about her having a sort of there's a sort of part of her that is trying to be positive there's a part of her that's trying to move on but there's also part of her that wants the truth to come out because she feels very incomplete without it um being out there she does feel like um her world has been turned upside down everything has been ruined um within her life and um there's just it's very difficult for her to move on um in this state uh, so my next question was, um, I actually already channeled the answer for this, but I'm going to ask and see what I get for the cards. And it was just like, did Top force her to smoke? Well, this is an interesting set of cards. Hold on.
So where I'm kind of getting here is he... I'm actually going to draw more cards. All right, like I said, I already did channel the answer, so I know what the answer is to this, but I just want to see what the cards are saying. Okay, so yeah, um, the the cards are card they're saying yes he did. Um, he felt like she was sort of um, he felt like she was kind of a very promiscuous girl, and he also felt like he was doing or he wanted her to become a promiscuous girl. Um, he felt like he was doing her a favor, like it was a charity, and he um, he 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 felt like he was sort of giving her, like she was asking or begging. He felt like. He was giving her, um, you know, the opportunity to enjoy that moment and to smoke and, you know, do whatever that would make her feel happy. Um, it, it's not the case. Um, I believe he may have wanted sex out of it. I believe he may have wanted sex out of it. I don't know for a fact, but he definitely... I'm going to say he, he probably wanted sex out of it. Um, he, de he did force her. He did force her to um, smoke. Um, what I'm also seeing is that it really kind of messed up the way she felt about... I'm going to say YGE as a whole. Um, and it is something that she has been carrying with her for a long time. Um, it's something that she felt, I feel like she felt very pressured. Um, with the Ten of Wands here, it's definitely, um, it was very, it was a situation where she's like, um, she felt pressured. She felt like she didn't, she, well, she didn't want to do it. Um, that's kind of what's going on with these cards. Like I said, I did channel... Um, it, I tried to get the information clearer and clearer, but um, I know you can't really see. I know you can't really. Uh, well, you can't really see it, but. Um, so when I was speaking with Spirit, Spirit did say that he forced her to smoke the. To smoke the cigarette or the uh, marijuana. Um. They did say she did know marijuana was in it, I believe. She did know that it was marijuana, but she did not want to smoke it. But he, they forced her to be a willing participant in smoking marijuana. What else is that? Um, uh... Sorry, when I channel, like, it's a chicken scratch, so it's even hard for me to read. Um, yeah, she's actually telling the truth. Oh, shoot. She's actually telling the truth in what she's saying um, with uh, being forced to take that L, being forced to sort of... Um, just become like she was a willing participant when she wasn't. Um, also, what the, I was able to channel is that that situation actually has mentally messed her up so bad, which is why she's acting out. But I'm going to put some cards on it to find out. Um, so... Is that the reason why she is now, um, I guess, mentally unstable? I don't know if that's the correct way to phrase it. Hmm. Yikes. I'm going to assume that the King of Wands in this case is most definitely going to be top. Um, so. 
so it's like it's like almost telling the story it's kind of like at first she was happy at first she was okay she was enjoying being around top i think she did like top and wanted to be around him or in yg she probably felt like she was getting very close with them um but quickly um she uh, it's showing that she kind of quickly started a relationship um or became close to top who was the king of wands um but there was some deception that happened there was some deception that happened between them um and I think this is basically the whole incident with the um, the marijuana thing. So there was um, Top had deceived her, and she felt like she had been betrayed. Um, the Ace of Swords in Reverse is actually talking about her attempting to actually move on. Um, there is uh, the Ace of Swords is talking about in Reverse is saying that she's kind of, she was just sort of trying to put an end to the situation at hand and kind of move on with her life. Um, the devil card also kind of comes up, and I also think it, the way it's laid out directly under top, I kind of think that's how she views him, almost as if they they kind of line up like this. So it's almost as if the world just views him as the king of wands, where she sees him as for how she feels he really is, which is the devil. Okay? So there's that. Now we're going to move on to asking um, a few more questions about, well, a question about Top. Will Top be um, coming back to make music again? Will Top reappear to make music again? Um, yes. Yes, he will. Top is going to come back out um, and restart up his business. Um, top is going to come back so you don't have to worry about that um, next what was the, oh so I also um, saw something about her talking about going to um, a club a nightclub with V um, while underage I did channel work on that as well but I'm gonna see what let me see what I got for my channel work okay so before I say what I got, I'm going to see what I get from my cards. Um, did... I should probably put these back. Let me reshuffle. I may be able to keep this under 16 minutes, maybe. Try to keep it under 15 minutes, but I don't think I'm going to hit that mark. So... Did Han So He end up at a nightclub with V? Everything is in reverse. I'm a little confused at what this is trying to tell me here. I got a lot of um, higher arcana. I'm actually going to reshuffle again. Um, but judging from what that those cards in itself were kind of showing, it seems like they are actually quite they're familiar with each other. Um, but it was not an intentional meeting. So I'm gonna say the answer is actually yes. It was not an intentional meeting. Um, they they are aware that they did meet each other there, but it wasn't intentional. Let me see. It's the same cards are coming out. There are some lies that have been. Let me just make sure. Yeah, there are some lies that have been told about that. Um, I 
there's some lies. I feel like there's both truth in it and lies. Um, when I channeled the, when I did channel work, um, I did get that yes, that she did see him at a nightclub, but um, what was it? What does it say? Uh, but sh it wasn't a case where he went there for her or she went there for him. It was generally they ended up meeting each other at the same time. Um, are they underage? Oops. Same cards keep coming out. <laughs> Same cards keep coming out. They were not underage. They were not underage when they went, um, when they ended up at the nightclub. So there, like I said, there are some truths, truths and there are some lies in there. Um, yeah. But that's about all I have for um, for this particular reading. I don't know anything really about it. All I know is there's weed involved. I don't know if she was underage when she was smoking weed with Top. But um, from what I'm getting, from what the, the spirits are telling me, that Top definitely did force her to, um, to smoke marijuana. As well as YG Entertainment definitely did, including Top, force her to take the downfall for the marijuana incident. So the situations that you are seeing with her, um, I think she was talking about uh, when she went on his Instagram to be upset again, is actually genuine upsetness. Um, what I did also channel from Spirit was that she is actually sort of I believe mentally unstable because of the situation and because of all the hate that she's receiving so what I'm assuming now the part is that she is mentally un unstable from um, the trauma of the situation and now my assumption is that she is acting out because of it um, she does not believe that anybody would believe anything that she says so now I think that it's a case of her spreading lies about a lot of things. But um, I would pay attention to some of the things that she says, to be quite honest, because within her lies, there are truth. There is truth within um, a lot of these lies that she tells. And it's very interesting because um, what I'm feeling like is you guys um, pay attention to her cries for help. Pay attention to the things that she says because somewhere along the lines um, where you're going to find out that some things may have been true. Some things are probably going to come out to be true. So that's the only advice I can give to you about that for anyone. You know, I don't know the girl. I don't know what's going on. I, you know, it's whatever. But from what I'm picking up, from what Spirit has told me, there is a lot of truths that she said. Um, and yeah. And that's all I got for you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Remember to give a 